My favorite member. I've gotten this question asked before, and to be honest with you, I don't have a favorite member. There isn't one person that I love more than the other. Maybe my wife, but outside of that, like everybody to me is family and we treat everybody the same. But I want to go over what my favorite type of member is. And these types of members not only get the best results, but they end up loving working out every single day. They build their own like bond with other people and then they create lifetime memberships. So the first characteristic of my favorite type of member is that they take to people right away. So they make friends, they laugh, and I see them hanging outside with other members outside of just going to the gym. And I remember when Amanda first joined, um, she was arranging these like little get togethers with people. And it was one of the like characteristics that I was like, wow, like I love this. Like she's inviting a bunch of people from the class. You know, the people that were in that room in the first time didn't really even know each other. Like they kind of like seen each other when they're working out. They might have talked through passing, but it was just a great way for all of us to get into the room and kind of dive deeper into like what's in their life. You know, what about friendship and all the different realms. And honestly, this was probably two years ago. And those same people that were at the table are still members of the gym today. And those same members have had such great success. And now a lot of them have bonded and become just such amazing close friends. The second type of characteristic that I love from my favorite members is that they post about their journey. And it helps me and it helps others in two ways. So one, it keeps me up to date with their journey. So a lot of times I'll talk to people through Messenger or I'll talk to them through text message when you text me, but oftentimes I'm not gonna be able to see you, right? Like to see you maybe at like a 5 a.m. consistently, like I'm not gonna be there at 5 a.m. consistently. My wife works out at 6.25. I work out at 5.15. We all got our routines. As much as I wanna come at 5 a.m., my routine is built kind of early in the day, middle of the day, and the end of the day. So to stretch it out even further, that's just putting, putting a lot of strain on myself. And people ask me, well, how do you do it all the time, RJ? Well, I have to know where my limits are, and that's where it is. So number one, when people post about their journey, it keeps me up to date, keeps me engaged, and it also helps me to figure out how is it that I can enhance this person's experience, right? So one, keep posting about your journey, so I see it. And then two, it inspires others near or far to potentially even just pick up one good habit of working out or taking care of themselves. They don't necessarily have to become members, but you might inspire them one day to become a member and you understand that that's the environment that most people have to be in. They have to be in an environment that's catered towards success. And at Fit Club, that environment is exactly that catered towards success. So the more you post, the more messaging people are going to see, and then the more likely they're going to take action on either joining Fit Club or taking a step towards how they can live a healthier life. And it could have been just one of your posts. A lot of people that I walk up to, they, you know, they don't mention any of these videos. They don't mention any of my social media stuff. They don't mention anything that I personally do. They mention other members. And I'm like, you're my dentist. How do you know who this person is? They don't talk to me about like working out. They don't ask me questions, but they're talking to me about this other member who's posting about their journey. So that's pretty spectacular, right? Like, I mean, you don't have to be a celebrity, but you can be an inspirational person by just posting about your journey. And then it might spark a couple questions. The third characteristic is they like to take on challenges. Now they take on belly burns to fix some like maybe some eating issues or take on the extra challenges that come with the belly burn, like doing 100 yard sprints. Uh, one of our members actually, or former members actually reached out to me and uh, she told me that she started playing football, right? I mean, this woman started playing football into her 40s. She just told me the other day, that's why this story comes to head. But you take on challenges that maybe you would never think that you would be able to do. And that's the key thing about aging healthy is that as you age healthy, you have the capability on taking on these challenges. Now you might never wanna play football, but let's say, hey, you wanna go over to Vancouver. Now, instead of sitting in your car and then like getting out of your car and then just kind of like 
looking at the city from abroad and then getting back in your car and then going back into the city for sushi, you get out of your car, you park your car and you go and hike to the peak of the mountain, right? Like maybe that's something that you've never ever been able to do. It was such a limitation for you just because you, your feet hurt and your back hurt and your knees hurt and you're also so tired and you just don't have the, the, the stamina to do it. Maybe the one time that you go out there in the next couple of years because you started today is that you are able to do these life, like these, this, these life enhancements, like walking up a mountain and seeing what it, the city looks like from the peak of a mountain versus the base of a hill. Such a big perspective. And so these three types of characteristics to me is what makes the most amazing members. I want the people that are first absorbing the people around them, meeting other people, being an inspiration for them, but also absorbing their inspiration onto you and just being one of the top 1% in the world that are in there working out and giving their best. The second are those that post about their journey to keep their coach updated or to keep me updated so I know how I can enhance Fit Club, but also that they could be inspiring to others to take their first step to being the best versions of themselves. And then the last, the best characteristic is just never saying no to a challenge. Or if you say no to a challenge, like running a 5K, or maybe taking a bikini photo shoot in the summer, by taking on a challenge in December or January, you're gonna give yourself enough reps and time so that when that time comes, you're ready, you're prepared, and you're going to kick its ass. Now, if you're a non-member and you're looking to get started and you want to try five days for five bucks just to see how it goes. Then go to our website, www.fitclub.fit, send us a message and we'll get you started today.